Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to 1-6 scale. This is another DIY video and we're gonna make these really cute little 1-6 scale hats for the dolls. And to make them, we're gonna use some felt. I made a St. Patrick's Day sweater from a pair of socks and then I wanted to make a hat to go with it. So I made this uh, green hat and this hat's made of felt, but it's sparkly. So to make it shiny, I covered it with glitter and Mod Podge. And then you can make the hats two different sizes. This one is three quarters of an inch tall, and then this one is half an inch tall. And then you can also put a trim around the hat. And for the black trim, I use some black ribbon. And then Easter is also coming up really soon. So I wanted to make a hat to go with the Easter dress. And I made this hat with some yellow felt that I had. And it's a little darker than the dress colors. Easter colors are usually more pastels, like the purple, yellow, and pink. And this yellow felt it's just a little darker, but I think it goes really nice with the dress. And then I made a purple trim around the hat. And then to make it, I used this cord that I found at the dollar store. And then you can also uh, find a lot of different colors. This came in a pack with all of these different colors of cord. And I think these cords go really nice with the hats. And the next hat is made from purple felt. And then for the border around this hat, I found these little beads at the dollar store. They're called pearl stickers and they're gold. You can get them in silver as well. But they're more like little rivets and then you just stick them onto the hat they're sticky on the back but i found that the uh they didn't stick very well so i put two rows on the hat and then to hold them on i used some glue and then i also made a pink hat for barbie and this one is made from pink felt and then it has some pink ribbon going around the hat and here's a picture of the 1985 day tonight barbie and she wears a white hat with a pink polka dot trim around the hat and if you have this vintage doll or the outfit and you don't have the matching hat, you could use some white felt and then get some pink polka dot ribbon and then you would have a hat to go with your vintage uh, day to night Barbie or your vintage day to night Barbie outfit. And then I made this beach hat with some brown felt and most beach hats are made of straw and they're different colors of brown and beige. So I thought this brown would make a really cute little beach hat and then for the trim around the hat I used some jute twine and I just wrapped it around twice and glued it on and I think it makes a perfect little beach hat. And the hats also fit the Ken dolls and I made this hat to go with the suit. So it's kind of like a top hat with the this, this suit with the bow tie. So this hat is made from some black felt and then I use that black uh, ribbon for the trim. And this is another tall hat, it's three quarters of an inch tall. So it's the same height as the St. Patrick's Day hat. I also made a few more different styles and these two hats are covered in glitter. The pink one has um, rhinestone for the trim and then the blue one has some thinner cord going around. And then I also made two felt hats and the green one has that thin cord going around as well. And then for the red hat, I didn't put anything around it because I haven't decided what to um, put as a trim. But I think the hat also looks really nice plain. The hats are made from felt and you can use all different colors and you can get really creative and make all different styles and colors of hats. And then you also need a protractor. This came out of a mathematical set and you don't need the set, you just need the protractor. And then we're gonna use this to make the circles for the hat. And then for the glue, I'm using Fabri-Tac glue and then I'm also using tacky glue. You could also use hot glue as well, but for this project, I like to use a little bit of Fabri-Tac glue and then I also like to use the tacky glue. These hats are quick to make and they're a lot of fun to make. And I really like working with felt because it's really a really fun and easy material to work with. So grab your felt and let's get started. To make the hat, start with a piece of felt. The ruler, make a square that is four and a half inches by four and a half inches. And then cut out the square with your scissors. Place down a ruler and make a mark on one side and then on the other side of the ruler, make a mark at two and three quarter inches and then draw a line across at those two points. From the left hand side, measure in one and a half inches and then go back two lines from that point and make a mark. Next, take the pointy tip of the protractor and place it in the middle mark that we just made and then line up the pencil at the two and three quarter mark. Draw a line from one side to the other side to make a half circle. And then place your ruler back down again, starting in the middle of the line and then measure across three quarters of an inch and then go back three lines from that point and then make another mark. Take the pointed end of the protractor and place it back in the middle of the line and then place the pencil on the second mark that we just made and then draw another half circle. Fold the felt in half along the line and then cut around the outer circle and then cut around the inner circle. And then when you open it up, you have a ring with a hole in the middle. Next, take some glue and place it all over the ring and then spread it out with a small paintbrush. 
Then take the ring cover in glue and flip it over and place it on another piece of felt and then let it dry. When the glue is dry, cut around the outer portion of the ring and then fold it and make a small cut and then continue cutting to the inner portion of the ring and then cut out the inside of the ring. Next, with your ruler, draw a rectangle that is five and a half inches long and half of an inch wide and then cut it out with your scissors. Again, with some glue and a paintbrush, place some glue on the rectangle and then spread it across. Take the glued side, flip it over and place it on another piece of felt. And when it's dry, cut it out to make two pieces of felt together. Next, take the two pieces of felt and place them around the opening of the circle to make a ring. When you have it the size that you want it, glue both sides together to form a ring. Next, we're gonna take the ring and we're gonna place it over top of the hole. Take some glue, place it around the top of the ring, flip the ring over and line it up with the top of the hole and adjust it to make it fit. Next, cut two squares that are two and a half inches by two and a half inches. Place some glue on one of the squares and then spread it out and then place the two squares back together. Now we have the rim of the hat, the side of the hat, and the square is going to be the top of the hat. Place some glue around the top circle of the hat and then flip it over and place it on the square. When the glue is dry, trim around the square to cut off some of the edges and then continue trimming, keeping the scissors flush against the felt and then trim off the remainder of the felt. And this is the completed hat. We have the brim, the side of the hat, and then the top of the hat. You can also finish off the hat with some trim and this one I put some pink ribbon around it. And then you can also cover the hat with glitter and Mod Podge. To cover the hat with glitter, mix some Mod Podge and glue to make a paste. And then using a small paintbrush, put some glitter on the top of the hat and then put it on the sides of the hat and then also on the top of the brim of the hat. And when the glitter is all dry, flip the hat over and then continue putting more glitter on the bottom of the brim of the hat. When the glitter is completely dry, you can add some trim. I'm using this piece of rhinestone mesh. To attach the trim, put some glue on the hat and then place the trim over top of the glue and then put the trim all the way around the hat. This is the completed hat covered with glitter and rhinestone mesh. And then this is a plain felt hat with a ribbon trim. So that's how you make one six scale hats for the dolls from felt. And I really hope you enjoyed the video and you give this DIY a try. Thanks for watching and have a great day. And I'll see you next time.